But we were talking about bringing Teams into Wirecast. We can also bring Wirecast into a Teams call. Why, why, why would you be doing that? Well, maybe I want to do a webinar like this where I'm computer, uh, speaking to a lot of people, but maybe there's a subset of people who I want to be participating with me where I want my feed, my polished feed, to be a part of their Teams call, but I don't want their Teams call going out to the world. We want that to be controlled just for the people on that call. So talk about that, well, how Wirecast does that. So let's say that this is an internal meeting within a corporation. And in your typical Teams meeting, you, you could screen share, and it takes you a second to switch back and forth from your camera and your screen share. But let's, open up Wirecast's full capabilities. And we have video playback, presentations, lo logos, lower thirds, really elevating this production. And the point of retaining your the viewer's attention and getting your message across, whatever that is, having Wirecast to back you on that and deliver that visually and audibly is just huge. So, I mean, we've all seen the talking heads, and we all try to pay attention, but visually, just imagine seeing everything they're explaining, the presentations moving forward back to a picture in picture, and just constantly refreshing your attention and keeping you engaged. So And, and I can huge. record my program in its full high res. I'm not getting the compressed version that's out in the team Zoom cloud world. I'm getting the full resolution that's in my premise for future use for uh, uh, encoding for, you know, using for putting it into Premiere, maybe editing it down or picking out whatever I want. And I can also, at that point, stream out to multiple destinations. Why? Because that's one of the powers of Wirecast. Wirecast can not only do multiple stream encodings, but it can do en encodings in different resolutions. So if you know some people are going to be watching mobile or on Instagram or on Facebook, you could have a vertical version of the show versus a horizontal show you can have a if let's say you have some people who you know don't have high bandwidth maybe they're in a rural area or what have you you could have a lower bandwidth version of the show so they still get the audio and everything looks great but it's just going to be a little bit lower bandwidth because that's all they can handle because maybe they're using a mobile hotspot versus you know having high bandwidth so thank you for watching this highlight from the video guys live webinar if you like this video or you want to learn more, check out the full webinar in our description or head on over to videoguys.com for more information.